looking for me. Who's Kalok? One of Starik's gang leaders. Why does he want you? He's after some of my more arcane research into one of the precursor artifacts. The Peace of Eden. So tell me about these blighters. In search of an army, Starik gathered up the nastiest of the underworld. Some of the city's gangs tried to prevent it and were slaughtered for their efforts. Now, only Whitechapel's clinkers remain opposed, but they're no match for the blighters. Well, let's shine these clinkers up then, shall we? They're just the sort we're looking for. You can't be serious. Evie, they're ready to fight and oppose the Blighters. This is my chance to step in. Look out, London. Here come the Rooks. this city no one looks where they're going yes i've noticed that bloody drood i'll never finish it at this rate only providence knows where those words are headed now well i must get to work replacing them should you ever be in the mood for a tale or two you can always find me where the ale is warm and tempers are hot Ta-ta. what an odd man that mr fry was charles dickens knows everyone and everything in the city. If I were you, I would keep that connection in your back pocket. <clears throat> Kalok's gang is nearby. They must not follow me back to my shop. We'll take care of it. Here. You might be able to use this. Oh, God, I hope so. My carriage is nearby. Make use of it to tow them off my trail. I will meet you at the curio shop. A girl, we need to lead them away from Green. Here comes trouble. Their carriages are easily damaged. They look to rule the day. Relentlessness will see me become master when we finish this. George would do nothing of the sort. Whatever's left of the creed would perish under your control. Harsh words, dear sister. I do hope Mr. Green made it back safely. Don't tell me you fancy the bloke already. And what do you suggest we do if our number one source of information turn? Did you give them the slip? We gave them more than that. Who are all these people? Over the years, I have established a number of connections across the city. Splendid. We'll need focused aid. Focused aid? We take over Starek's gangs, 
we cripple his control. You're not aiming high enough. Starek has influence in every branch of society. We need to match him. I see what you're saying, Evie. We need the Rooks. You are not starting a gang called the Rooks. I believe I may have an idea of my own. We will need the police to turn a blind eye to activities. My ally in the force, Sergeant Abilene. I've heard he's a master of disguise. Next up, urchins. 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 Children make for excellent spies. Clara O'Day. Smart as a whip, that one. Finally, you would be wise to remember that Starek never acts alone. There are gang leaders in every borough. You'll meet them soon enough, no doubt. Rexford Gaylock, known for his ability to vanish before your very eyes. Should we make him vanish for real? I suppose. One moment. Um, a Templar target you might want to look into. Uh, be cautious. It's rough out there. No, don't worry about me, Greenie. I can handle a few thugs. What's the plan then, O oh mighty planner? You're the one with the grand ideas. The gangs, the fights, even the outfits you'll wear. Perhaps you should lead the way. If you insist. What is this place? It's nice to meet you both at last. This is Babylon Alley. Here we make it our business to know the streets and provide children with the opportunity to control their own destinies. Clara, Mr. Green said we might be able to help one another. In exchange for our services, we ask a small favor. Well, why not? You seem to have taken most of my money. Why not take a small favor too? There are several factories about the city that are powered almost entirely by child labor. Those children work long hours with little pay, and most are not permitted even to leave the factory grounds. They suffer terribly. I need you to save them. A small favor. In return, we offer you intelligence, something you clearly need. No, hold on a minute. I'm late for an appointment. What are these terms? We accept. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you.
I don't see Mr. Abelard. Well, we tried. Psst. I may know a thing or two about that splendid fellow you're talking about. What's this? Are you trying to blow the gaff? What? Sergeant Abelard, at your service. I presume you're the Fry Twins Green mentioned. I was expecting you to be a policeman. I was expecting you to be discreet. Henry Green said that you could help us go unnoticed. This is how it will work. I will give you the names of criminal gang members. You will bring them back to me. Quietly. Oh, we'll be as quiet as an old lady. A very hairy, strange old lady that looks a lot like a policeman. within the bounds of the law, for my sake.
Your gob. Meet my blade. Get off me! Get off me! This is Glad to see him behind bars. Thank you. How many crates do we have left to distribute? Only about a dozen, sir. Excellent. Soon all of London's fighters will be armed to the teeth. No bobbies in sight. Good. Distribute the dynamite then, and carefully. Very good, sir. We want this to come into the blighter's hands without harm. No mishaps.
Clinkers. Good place to start. seem to want my employer's attention, Mr. Fry. Oh, I positively crave it. But you'll do for now. As you like. All that stands between you and Whitechapel is the villain controlling the borough. Gaylock has demanded you settle the claim for territory in a gang fight. His loss? Here. I'm sure you can put this to better use than I can. Oh, what's this, Greeny? Assassin Christmas. <laughs> Gather your allies. Mr. Rexford Kaylock has agreed to your terms and waits for you at the Whitechapel train station. He's bet his train on the fight. No Kaylock. Hmm. No matter. Attack!
It appears to be broken. Oh well. At least we have a train now. It's not all bad. Kalok is dead. Whitechapel is no longer in the hands of the blighters. You now have the chance to join our ranks. We welcome all who would stand up to Starek and his cutthroats. Welcome to the Rooks. 